for Western Massachusetts. This is Western Mass News. We continue to follow breaking news at UMass Amherst at this hour. The pro-Palestinian encampment is back up. Good Tuesday evening and welcome to Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano and I'm Abby Carnevale. The protesters resurgence comes just a week after an encampment came down after UMass Amherst officials said tents aren't allowed on campus. Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days is live from campus with more and Wesley. What are you seeing right now? Yeah, the energy is very high here, Abby and Chris. I want you to take a look at this. These, this is a human chain right now in front of the barricaded portion of the encampment right across from the student union here at UMass Amherst. And I want you to see this. This is students, this is faculty linking together in order to protect other protesters. And not only that, but their ideas and demands for the campus that they are standing on right now. There's the three Ds that we're talking about, divest, disclose, and draw. We're going to start with divest and disclose. They want the university to divest and disclose from military corporations that are a part of and tied to the school and tied to the crisis in Gaza. They're also looking for them to drop the charges against the students that were arrested in a similar sit-in back in October at a separate uh, important issue and rally um, on campus at this hour. Now, as you can see, you can see that there are faculty members here. You can see that there are students here holding up. You can even see them in the trees right over there, standing their ground against the university officials at this hour. But they're not alone. Parents with their children are here. Listen to why they said they made the trip to UMass Amherst's campus. These students are behaving like the adults in the room. They are organized. They are peaceful. They are not responding to agitators that are trying to rile them up. And it is our duty as community members to come and support them in their, in their uh, very just cause. Yes, and now at the same time we're hearing from those parents, we're also told that an, a conversation is going on across this campus at this hour between university officials and negotiators backed by pro-Palestinian protesters at this hour. But now we're still hearing from UMass in itself. We're hearing from a spokesperson that delivered this information into our newsroom that you're seeing on your screen right now. They say, quote, earlier today a group of demonstrators constructed an unauthorized encampment, including wooden barricades on the south lawn of Student Union in violation of university policy. The demonstration response and safety team notified those present that while they could stay and continue to demonstrate as is their right, unauthorized structures must be removed. Along with establishing the encampment, demonstrators issued a set of demands that included both previous demands to which the university has already responded and new demands that include abolishing the board of trustees and severing academic ties with select partner institutions. Meanwhile, Western Mass News just got off the phone with an 